Alright, so I'm going to show you a quick kind of how to on how to install games, specifically Star Ocean in this example, with Hakchi, and how to install and activate the modules so you can use RetroArch and Super Nintendo since you can't emulate it with the native emulator on here. So to start off, you download Hacktree, you download the RetroArch files, which I have a link for, and then if yours isn't modded yet, what you want to do is you go here and do flash custom kernel, and it'll say yes, and it, it'll give you this option. Follow that and it will flash the custom kernel and it will also dump your original kernel I already did that so I'm not going to worry about it and there's videos I think on how to do that so if I can find it I'll link that but after you do that you'll be able to FTP in and you'll be able to use this so for example we want to add Star Ocean so let me remember where I can find this at Alright, so in order to get the games that don't work with the native installer, you have to do one certain thing. So typically you can just import an SMC file and it'll work. But for this instance, you want to rename your Super Nintendo ROM at SNES file. That way it can be read by SNES 9X with RetroArch. So you do open, it'll load and then make sure to not compress it because if you compress it it'll try to uh, read it through the native browser or not browser but the emulator um, then you can add the art or whatever if you care for that I don't really care so alright so let me turn this on Alright, so for example, let me see, where's the controller? So, once you have it over here, you'll want to press on synchronize. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, I forgot one thing. Alright, so, before you can get that situated, you want to put all these modules that you download from the, uh, the RetroArch file into this folder the user mods folder <laughs> and then you copy all these over so then in order to get Super Nintendo working you want to go down and select RetroArch standard so you select that and then you want to select the newest SNES 9X then you install so just to show you how it will look I already have it installed so I'm not going to do it again it'll ask for that let's just press cancel on that and then once you have the game just press on synchronize and it will throw it through Also, you can set folders and things like that with the uh, with the settings. Yeah, I'll show you after this is done. Afterwards, this will boot up. Oh, I need to restart probably. Yep, 
sometimes if you erase a game and it was on it previously, once you boot up, the controller won't work if it's plugged back in. So, still a little bug. This isn't finalized yet, so if you're scared you're going to mess anything up, just wait. But you shouldn't. Alright. So, let's see. Star Ocean should be... Alright, so, as you can see, it's right here. Just select it. That's about it. And you can install pretty much any Super NES game that doesn't work with the native emulator this way. And it more than likely should work. Um, let's see if I'm forgetting anything else. Um, 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 um. I do not think so. But yes, shout outs to MDF Mechanic. He's the one who made Retro Art successful and possible on here to the extent that it is. So, everyone show him some love. And yeah, if you have any other questions, hit me up and let me know. Peace.